Welcome to the uh, BMS Avionics Guide. Uh, today's topic will be the targeting pod, or TGP, which you can see here, the uh, Sniper XR pod. Okay, let's get the uh, cockpit set up so we can use the TGP. First thing we want to do is go down here to the sensor power panel, uh, down here on the right next to the stick, and make sure that the right hard point is powered on, which it is right now. This provides electrical power to the targeting pod. Now go into the uh, air to ground master mode. And I have the uh, FCR here on my left MFD and we want to put the TGP on the right MFD. Um, whether you choose left or right is personal preference, just make sure that the FCR and TGP are on two separate MFDs because the TGP is slave to the FCR cursors and it will not function properly if you have both of them on the same MFD. So I'm going to add the TGP page here. OSB1 up here, standby, indicates that the uh, TGP is currently in standby mode. To turn it on, simply click this uh, OSB and it will take you to a menu. Uh, and air to ground mode is here on the uh, right, OSB number 6. So we click that. Now the targeting pod is on, however it says not timed out. It takes a period of time to warm up before a picture actually appears and um, you're not really going to need the picture until you're in the air anyway. Okay, so I have the uh, TGP called up here and the uh, FCR on uh, our target area. As you can see, the uh, TGP is slave to the FCR cursors when the FCR is SOI. And of course, designated target on the FCR will point the TGP at that target. Now when we make the uh, TGP SOI, you'll notice that the cursors will not move. It is kind of stuck on that point. Um, to manipulate the cursors, you have to uh, team us up to go into area track mode. And then you can uh, slew the uh, TGP around the target area. Uh, OSB3 here, it says wide, uh, 1.0x, this is your zoom. You have up to four times zoom in wide, and that's controlled by the uh, range knob. And if you uh, click this OSB or the pinky switch, it will go into narrow, which also has up to four times zoom. Again, controlled by the uh, range knob. A TMS left. We'll switch between white hot and black hot. So hot objects in white hot will appear as white and they will appear as black in black hot. This can also be changed by OSB 6 here. There's also one other um, imaging mode, uh, TV, which can only be accessed by clicking the OSB and this is raw camera footage with again up to four times zoom and it allows the maximum possible zoom with the TGP and it's more useful for identifying um, aircraft when using the TGP in air to air modes. Uh, pressing uh, TMS down will return the um, TGP to its initial position. Now, there's one more uh, tracking mode and this is uh, point mode and this is used typically on vehicles and you must have clearly defined edges on the vehicle to engage the uh, point track mode and you simply designate by TMS up from area track mode and you'll see that little box growing and this can track moving targets as well. Now a couple other features of the uh, TGP page here if you notice the uh, number right above um, white hot at OSB 6 that is your current radar altitude and uh, down at the bottom here, right above uh, the SMS OSB, uh, is your master arm state. Uh, right now it is in SIM. Another feature of the uh, TGP and also the FCR, if you are descending too rapidly or at an odd uh, angle of attack, like so, you will get this warning, check attitude.
And again, another piece of symbology here in the HUD uh, mask next to the FPM. This indicates that the uh, picture from the targeting pod is currently masked or blocked by part of the airframe. Uh, and that's when the mask is solid. When it is flashing, let's see if we can get the flash here. Yeah, there we go. When it flashes, it indicates that you are either moving into a masking situation or out of a masking situation, and uh, right there it was moving out of a masking situation. So now there should be a clear view on the targeting pod, which there is.